Hey, welcome back to the shop. It's Matt here for AVC, and today we're covering one of my biggest pet peeves, unwrapped rear columns. So stick around, and we're gonna teach you something. One of the first steps in preparing our rear column for wrap is going to be treating the Ford Transit rear lights. So we've already removed the rear light from this section, and we're gonna cover over it with a little piece of aluminum flashing. So I like to take this thin aluminum flashing and give it a pre-bend so we're not fighting this curvature. We can just test fit it up here, make sure it's gonna fit just right. I normally use a little bit longer piece than this, but this is a scrap I grabbed for an example in the video. So we're ready to apply some adhesive to this location and apply these covers. While this glue is kicking, we can go ahead and start pulling our bulb seal off the back door. So just like our passenger sliding door, we don't wanna pull it all the way off. Let's keep it in place and we'll just drape it down at the bottom of the van. With our adhesive adequately kicked, we're ready to apply our flashing to the little bump out. We're gonna line it up with the top. Make sure we get the top nice and even, then roll it into place and give firm pressure. And be careful for little shards that can cut you. Perfect. We also covered these with aluminum flashing. These are the big bump outs here that you can actually fit your hands inside. You would pull these plastics off in this location and we just flash over them because we don't like to apply these after the fact. If you want to keep these in place, at the very end, you can cut that hole open and reapply these and just skip flashing this area. With our flashing in place, we're ready to degrease our entire column in preparation for glue. With our column degreased, we're ready to start applying adhesive. For our foam step of applying adhesive, remember, we're not going to hit this little flange right here. We just want to hit our main surfaces and a little bit of a return along this area. One of the cool features about this 3M74 can is the applicator tip. Um, right now, the fan spray is a vertical, and if I twist this little black tip here, we can give us a, a horizontal fan, which is gonna make spraying our columns much easier. You'll also notice an L, M, and H on here, and that's for the amount of pressure or the, the field of spray that's gonna come out of that can. So if I go to the H, it's gonna give us a really wide spray. If I go to low, it's gonna give us a, much, a, little, a little more accurate spray there. With all of our adhesives kicked, we're ready to start applying our foam. I like to find my center point and start at the top of the rear door. So I just fold the foam in half, give myself a little pinch here so I know where center is. Then I can line up center with the top of my van. Apply. Slowly apply towards the outside. So I curve towards my sides. Then at the top here, I'm just gonna roll the foam towards the top so I'm not sticking anything that I don't wanna stick first. I just wanna apply from the bottom up. Just like that, looks good. We always wanna have our knife handy so we can make some relief cuts where we need to. So somewhere like right here where it's gonna be really tight, we can just give ourselves one cut push out. And we just wrap right over the top of the wiring harness in place. Same thing on the other side. For our column, we're going to start at the bottom and just like we did on our passenger door, we're going to start our foam right above where we've trimmed our flooring. Just like that. Then as I'm pushing into this corner, just like I did at the top, I'm gonna to roll my foam backwards. I'm just gonna push that roll. So I'm just gonna push this roll towards the inside corner. We just wanna make sure we don't stretch the foam across the corner. We wanna push it in tight to that corner. Okay. 
in most places we can leave our land out long. Like right here, it doesn't matter. It's not interfering with anything. But because we're getting close to this window, I'm just gonna cut a relief cut so that I don't have anything interfering in the future when I install my wall kit. So then we can just take some of those scraps and fill in our extra little pieces to make sure we have a nice edge. Where I have two straight lines, let's go ahead and match those up. Then I can match cut my upper foam. Just like that, it's gonna be fine. With our land out in place, we can now trim just inside where our bulb seal installs. So we'll just follow the inside of that corner. This is why it's helpful to not spray glue on that section. It makes pulling that excess Lando off very easy. Cool. Now that our Lando is all in place, ready to start spraying down glue so we can apply our fabric. Now we can hit all the way through that flange, get everything. So we're gonna want a spray shield to keep that excess glue off the side of the van. With our Landau sprayed with glue and our fabric sprayed with glue, I just folded the back side here so that I could find center and I made a pinch point. And that way I can align it with the middle of my door right here. I'm just gonna use my knife to push it nicely into that crevice. Just like we did on our passenger side column, we're gonna start with a rolled edge on our fabric. We're gonna start at the very bottom. Just like with the Landau, we wanna roll our inside edge towards that inside corner. And where we have our overlap, go into these spots, and we might need a little extra touch of glue to get these overlaps to stick. With our main panels in place, we're 90% of the way there. Let's trim off the excess that goes outside the van and get ourselves a nice accurate space so we can make our little seam covers. To make our seam covers, we're gonna start with an 18 inch square of fabric. I have a little excess around here, so I'm just gonna use this scrap. So then I'm gonna take that 18 inch square and I'm going to cut it across the diagonal to give me two triangles. Then, using that triangle, I'm gonna fold the two sides in and I'm gonna try to make these two seams meet. So we have nice even fabric. Then using my roller, I can roll those seams so we get a nice crisp edge and a very flat panel. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other piece. and we're ready to go into the van. With our seam cover ready, we're gonna just do a test fit on our space. Make sure it's gonna cover all of our openings, get our angle just right. Then we can use a piece of tape to mark the edge 
That way we know where we're going to spray our glue. With our tape in place, ready to apply our glue to the area, just give yourself a little bit of leeway around the edge here so that you don't have any glue exposed. Now that our glue's kicked, we're ready to apply. I'm going to peel off my top piece of tape, but I'm going to leave the lower piece in place for alignment. Now I can pull it out. All right, with our seam cover in place, we're ready to trim off our little tag end and reinstall our bulb seal. Boom. With our wrap complete and our edges trimmed, we're ready to reinstall our bulb seal. Just remember to roll your bulb seal onto that fabric so we don't peel anything back. And having a clamp handy is gonna help you a little bit as we get to the top of this. With our bulb seal installed, it's another job complete. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to our channel. We'll see you on the next video. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button so others can find it. And if you haven't subscribed, and while you're at it, go ahead and drive over that subscribe button. Do it one more time, sorry, sorry.